Angeline, can we lead the prayer? Yes, ma'am. We praise you, Lord, and we thank you for the opportunity to study and prepare for good life in the future. Bless our teachers who inspire and guide us. Bless our parents who work hard and support us. Bless our classmates and all the people who care for us. God bless us. Help us. Amen. Amen. Take your seat. Good morning, class. Good morning, Teacher Melinda. Who is absent for today? No one is absent, ma'am. Very good. Before we start our lesson for today, do you recall on what you have learned yesterday? Yes, teacher. What part of speech tell us the name, names of a person, things, place, events, and animals, plants, and any forms of nature? Me, teacher. Okay, stand up. Now, teacher, now. Very good. That's correct. Give me one example of a name of a person. Me, teacher. Okay, Anjali. Daylan. Very good. Give me one example of a name of a thing. Notebook, teacher. Great job. Give me one example of a name of a place that you visit most. Yes, I am. Very good. Give me one example of a name of an event which is very, very special to you. My birthday, teacher! When is your birthday? This coming November 22, teacher. Very good! Give me three examples of animals, plants, and other forms of nature. Um, elephant, teacher. Um, Akasha tree. And flower. For those who got the correct answer, let's give them a boom boom clap. Class, here's the dialogue of Lisa and her dad about the their visit of her grandparents in Manila. On her way, she says many things in Manila. This conversation will play only by one boy and one girl only. So, who wants to read the conversation of Liza and her father? Me, teacher, and Clark. Okay, stand up. Oh, Daddy, I'm so excited to see Lola and Lola. I'm also excited to see Manila. There are many places to see in Manila. Really? What are those places? On our way, we will pass by Abang, Sukat, Tagig, Makati, and Pasay. Are there factories and big buildings? Of course, they are. There are also many people, hospitals, and schools. There are animals at the zoo. Dad, we will visit the Manila Zoo? Yes, we will. That's all, teacher. Thank you. Let's give him a yes, yes clap. <laughs> Who are the characters mentioned in the dialogue? Teacher. Yes. And the characters mentioned in the dialogue are Lisa and her daddy. Okay, thank you. Very good. What places will Lisa and her father visit? Um, the places... That, that they will visit our um, Manila and Balabon Zoo. Very good. What do they expect to see in these places? Teacher, they expect to see factories, buildings, hospitals, and schools. Yes, correct. What places that they will pass as they going to Manila? They will pass Alaba, Sukat, Tagig, Makati, and Pasay. Very good. Excellent. Class, what did you notice?
to this underlying word. Teacher. Okay, stand up. There are some words that start with big or capital letter, while other words start with small letter. Correct. Very good. Class, are these words considered as nouns? Yes, teacher. And why do you think that these words are nouns? A teacher, because the underlying words are the names of persons and places. Very good. Did you know, class, that noun has two kinds? No, teacher. Oh, right. The two kinds of nouns are common noun and proper noun. So, class, what is a common noun? Me, teacher. No one is answering? Okay, so, common noun start with a small letter. It names any kind of person, things, animals, and places. Here are some examples of common nouns. Who wants to read the examples? Me, teacher. Yes, Angeline, stand up. Hand, cell, cell phone, bird, mall, teacher. Remember that they don't have specific name. They begin with a small letter. What is a proper noun? Who wants to read? Me, teacher. Yes, stand up. A proper noun start with a capital letter. It's a, it's a specific names of persons, names, things, and animals. Thank you. Proper nouns start with a capital letter. It names a particular person, things, animals, and place. Here are some examples of proper nouns. Parrot, Charlie, uh, Gaisano. These are some examples of proper nouns. So remember that proper nouns have a specific name. They begin with a capital letter. Understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, class. You learned what is common noun and a proper noun. Now, who can give me an example of a common noun and its proper noun? Me, teacher. Yes. A common noun is cell phone and a proper noun is vivo. Very good. Now, class, what are the differences between common noun and proper noun? Me, teacher. Yes, stand up. Proper noun tell us proper nouns tell the specific name of person, things, and animals. On the other hand, common noun tell the general names of person, places, things, and animals. And teacher, proper noun tell the specific name of person, things, and animals. On the other hand, common nouns tell the general names of person, places, things, and animals. Teacher, the proper nouns begin with a capital letter, while the common nouns begin with a small letter. Great job! Let's give them a cheek cheek clap. Okay, let us have a practice activity. So, Give the proper noun which is counterpart to its common noun. So class, you will answer the proper noun and I will tell you the common nouns. Number one is vegetable. A uh, carrot teacher. Very good. Number two. Number two is shampoo. What's the, what are the um, proper nouns? Uh, family teacher. Very good. Number three is laptop or computer. Is your laptop teacher? Very good. Number four is camera. Um, Canon teacher, Canon camera. Yes, correct. Number five is secret 
chores. Jellyfish teacher. Very good. Number five. Philippine president. Uh, Noy Aquino. Very good. What else? Gloria Makapagal Arroyo teacher. Yes, very good. How about the Pumunaw snake? The Cobra snake teacher. Very good. Very good. How about flowers? Ah, sa pagina flower teacher. Very good. What else? Ah, gumamela flower. Very good. Excellent. All of you understand our topic well. So let's have a short quiz. Get one whole sheet of paper. Match the proper noun with its common noun and write the letter and the correct of the correct answer in the blank before the number. Okay, teacher. Start. Are you done? Not yet, teacher. Are you done? Yes, teacher. Pass your papers in class. In your assignment, give at least 10 common noun with its proper noun. 20 items only. So, goodbye class.